Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64 for the Nintendo 64. In case you're wondering, that's what that looks like. I don't know. Thought you might want to look, might want to know what it looks like when it's loading or something. Anyway, last time we got nine stars. We uh did most, most of. Oh wait. There we go. We did most of Bomb on Battlefield. We didn't do all of it. We did do most of it though. And we also went and did some secret stars. And we also went to fight Bowser for the first time. And now we are actually going to be getting some secret stuff. Secret stuff. It's secret. Okay. So. Um, we're gonna head here. I just ignore a bunch of the landmarks right now, because all we're doing here is heading through this door. And going into Core 6. <laughs> I know that might sound crazy. Why the heck are you going into Core 6? But I have my reasons. And I mentioned in the end of the last episode that we are going to be getting the all, all of the um, different... Pretty much all the collectibles in the game, basically. Well, like all of the uh, collectibles besides stars. So we're getting the three caps. And we're going to be starting by getting the metal cap. Which is probably the hardest one to get and pretty much what you have to do is you have to go into core 6 hazy maze cave of course we're probably not going to be coming back here for until we're done with the first five courses but for now we're only here so that we can get the metal cap and the middle metal cap is the first cap that we're getting so you're gonna have to use this uh dinosaur and you're gonna have to go over here. And then, just jump up here. Then you'll be good. Just go through the door. And into this portal. And now we are in the Metal Cap stage. So in each cap stage, there's a secret star. Pretty much one of the castle secret stars is what it is. And we're gonna get it. Because if we want 100% the game, then we kind of have to get it. So... Wait, did I get the... Okay, there we go. Um... It might be the hardest... One of the harder ones to get to. But it's kind of the easiest actual stage of the metal caps. Of, of the caps. So, the metal cap is a green block. And whenever you see a green block now, you can turn into Metal Mario! And of course, it does run away eventually. I don't know, well, I guess that's not of course, but... Anyway, we collected the eight red coins, and now we we unlock the Metal Cap. You pretty much just have to step on the, the Metal Cap switch, or the switch to unlock the cap, to get the Metal Cap. I know I said cap many, many times. I'm just gonna check something. I'm not sure if I can unlock this yet or not. Okay. I didn't think so. So. Now we're gonna go out of here. And. Go. Get. This. We're gonna go in this room. And we're gonna swim down here. And down here. We have a little thing, and what it's going to tell us to do is ground pound these two pillars. And once we do that, this water will drain away. And not only that, now all this water is drained. I know it might look un not as pretty, but this is just a natural lake over there. But Anyway, once you drain the water, you can go into this hole, which is the second cap switch stage the invisible cap so this is also pretty 
I'd say this is actually the hardest stage of the caps, but none of them are really hard. So, yeah. So once you get four here, um, there's only four up there, so don't worry about it. Oh my gosh, that fire almost hit me. So this part coming up is actually the hard part. So far what we've done is ridiculously easy, but this part's kind of hard. And the reason I say that is because um, these actually flip off, like, once they get to the top, like that, and you can just fall pretty easy, actually. Pretty easily. Especially trying to get these last two red coins. Oh my gosh, I almost died. And I did it. So we got all eight red coins. Good. But before we collect that switch, or that star, we actually have to unlock the invisible, the, the vanish cap switch. I'm probably going to be calling it the invisible cap a lot, but it's actual, it's actual real term is the vanish cap. And now kind of, a pretty, a kind of good. A speedrun tactic that you can do here is go in this, press start and exit course. Then you'll be back here where you can go do the third um, cap switch stage. And this is normally the first one that you will probably do. But in the way I did it, this is the last cap switch. The last cap switch stage. And this is the wing cap. As long as you're careful, this one's pretty easy. I'm probably gonna end up missing one unless I can do it perfectly, which would be pretty awesome. I knew it. I know I can do it perfectly. So, wow, I actually failed that pretty badly. <sighs> that kind of is really angry, angering me, actually. Hmm. So, this is, like, this switch. I actually really hate the flying mechanics in this game. I hate this. This is definitely my least favorite cap of them all. I don't know why some people are good with it. I'm definitely not one of those people. I'm terrible. Okay, we did really good that time, but still. Um, I think it's really hard to use. I actually don't want to grab that star. I want to hit the switch first. And now we've unlocked every cap. Which is good. We're only on the second episode and we've got them all. Okay, thanks. Wow. It only took me eight minutes. Cool. So now we're gonna go finish up on on Battlefield. Um, these last two are pretty fast ones. So the name of this one is Mario Wings to the Sky. And... Oh yeah, by the way, I never even told you how you get the wing cap switch thing to appear. Pretty much what you have to do is you have to just collect 10 stars and then it will appear, so... It's pretty, pretty easy to actually get, but... Hey. I don't know. I guess... Some people... Want to know... How exactly you get it. So we just got the first coin. Pretty much you have to collect five coins in the air with the wing cap. You can do this without the wing cap, however it's very tedious and just not easy. Oh my god, I almost did it perfectly. But I didn't I missed that last one. Oh my gosh. So now we're back down here. It's actually really annoying. I ground pounded because I thought I was right above it. That's really annoying. So we're gonna shoot back up. Let's go. So 
So yeah, I just, I really don't like the wing cap, just overall. I really don't like it. And there's one star that, um, you have to be pretty good with the wing cap. You don't have to be, like, super good with it, but you have to be pretty good, and it's not an easy star to get, and it's really annoying, actually. What the heck just happened? Okay. I suck at this. I can't even see. There we go. Okay, so we got all five of the coins in the middle of the rings. Now we're good. Let's go. Down. And... Oh, so close. There we go. Now this last star is... One of the most well-known things in this game, and I don't know why, but it really is. One of the most well-known stars. And usually people get this star first when they play the game. Veteran players. And this is behind Chain Chomp's gate. It's really fast star to do, and I think in speedruns it's the first star that they get, I believe. I don't think I can do this, but I'm gonna try. Yeah, I, I can't do that. There's actually a glitch where you can pick up the bomb on twice, and then you can, like, glitch through the bars. I've never done it, and I probably never will. Pretty much what you have to do is you just have to ground pound the post in the middle where the chain chomp's being held, and then you just blast open the gate so you can get the last power star in bomb on battlefield. So... We're done with bomb on battlefield. We finished a course, and we got all the cap switches. And we still have time. So that means we're gonna go to course two. And we actually probably can finish course two today. Because course two is super, super fast to complete. It's really, really easy and really fast. So, hopefully I can do this correctly. I'm not gonna do any of these stars in the, or the right order, probably. So just bear with me. This is Womp's Fortress. So the first star we're going to get is actually the third star of Bomb's Fortress. And normally you're supposed to use this cannon when a bomb bomb appears in the third level. But if you really want to... If you really want to, you can just do a side flip, then grab... Wall jump off the wall, and then you can get up there. And that's shoot into the wild blue. This next star we're gonna get is the normal star, actually. So, but we're gonna do a little uh, speed run thing, I guess. I don't think people actually do that in the speed runs, but it saves a lot of time. I think they have faster tricks. So this is the Womp King. You can just ground pound right through them. So, he's by far the easiest boss in the game. See, you can just, while you're ground pounding, you can just fly right through him. And, oh, I thought I collected it. I don't know, people can speedrun Bomb on Battlefield pretty fastly. I mean, not Bomb on Battlefield, Womp's Fortress. Wahoo! To the top of the fortress. This one's also pretty, pretty fast uh, star. However, we're actually gonna get the eight red coins now. Ow. And uh, and the hundred coins. By the way, this is by far the easiest hundred coin mission in the game. I'm not even kidding you. There's so many coins in this level, it's crazy. And for for so many coins, it's kind of ridiculous, because it's a small level, and I'm pretty sure this is the level with the most coins in it. So it really makes absolutely zero sense, and, like, at all. It, like, makes absolutely no sense, so... I don't know. Just... whatever. I don't think it actually has the most coins, but it's definitely really easy to get at coins in this level. Like, ridiculously easy. Like, I'm already at 60. We're 
We're gonna pole vault up here. I don't know why I said pole vault, because that had nothing to do with poles. Well, that had nothing to do with vaulting. Pole vault is a track event. I don't do pole vault. I cannot do pole vault. Oh my gosh. I can't do that. I don't know why. I just can't. I, I just... I run the 400. Sometimes I run the 800 meter in track. But I mostly run the, the 400 meter. I have the second best time on the team right now. Not the best. The second best, though. I can... I can move with that, so... Yeah. I'm alright. Do whatever. I don't even care about you. Why? That's so bull. That is so bull. It really is. Ugh. Whatever. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, one up. Okay. There we go. Hey, Womp, give me a hundred coins. Thanks. Can you give me more? Thanks. And ground pound. <laughs> hey, Womp. See how much more coins we can get from him. Oh. Come on, Womp. They can give you ten coins each. I believe. Yep, because you can jump on them for five coins, and then they, when you smash them, they give you five coins. So yeah, Womps give you ten coins each. I don't know why I'm still collecting coins. <laughs> so you're, to get the last two red coins, you want to actually kick this pillar. So that you can walk across here. There's another way you can get over here, but I'm not pro enough to actually do that way. I almost fell there, I think. I don't know. Felt like I did, so. Holy camoly. I just want to get this thing. Good! I did it. Thank gosh. Ow. And that was pretty good. Pretty good stuff. And we got two one ups. Almost three. <laughs> wow. That would have been awesome. To the top of the fortress. Okay. So this one's really fast and easy star as well. It's basically the first star, just you're not actually fighting a boss. So... It's, uh... Huh, that's never happened to me, actually. Interesting. So that's what happens when you do the trick wrong, apparently. I've done that trick so many times, and I've never actually done that. Or, I've never failed that trick before. Whee! I guess I'm in no rush. There we go. I guess I was too close to the wall when I did it the other time. I mean, there is some stuff that you have to do, like you have to parkour up this, but it's honestly super ridiculously easy, so... Oh. <sighs> I need to stop saying stuff is easy or I'm never gonna get this game done. Huh. I never thought I'd actually have to fall on that. So I'm definitely doing a lot worse than I usually do. I'm used to playing on a classic controller, which I guess I still could do. I'm playing this on the Wii U Virtual Console. I also have it for the Wii Virtual Console. Don't ask. It was only two dollars, okay? Deal with it. Please. I'm okay. I'm not cuckoo. We started with nine, so we already have we already have more than half of what we started with. 
So this is Mr. Owl. You're not going to be seeing him very mu often in this game. This is really the only time you actually need him for a star, but he does appear another time in the game. So... We're just going to let him fly around. But we actually want to fly into... This cage. Bull crud. Bull crap. Bull. That was so perfectly laid out, and it's just like, nope, I ain't doing it today. Mr. Owl. There you are. I just want to know, guys. I don't know, this is a really, probably a really stupid question, but I'm very curious on whether or not any of you watched Winnie the Pooh when you were a kid. Or read Winnie the Pooh. I guess you could do both, right? I did both. I loved Winnie the Pooh as a kid. I still love Winnie the Pooh. I mean, I don't watch him anymore, but I still love him. How can you not? Like, people say, oh, I'm too old for that. But when you were a little kid, you loved him, so why can't you love him now? Like, even though you don't, you never watch it anymore, doesn't mean you can't love old stuff they used to like. Like, Winnie the Pooh was my really good friend. I loved Winnie the Pooh. Christopher Robin and Eeyore and Tigger and Piglet and Rue and Kanga. And rabbit. <laughs> and gopher. And Mr. Owl, of course. How could I forget about him? Well, that's why, that's the thing that made me think of Winnie the Pooh. So, of course, I didn't forget about him. I actually have this Winnie the Pooh game on the Game Boy, which I think would be a really funny LOL, just like random game to play. By the way, this is how you get the last Star and Womp's Fortress, in case you were wondering. It's like exactly what I'm doing right now. So, yeah. I don't know. I just... Like, come on. People think it's not cool, but really... There's nothing wrong with talking about stuff that you liked as a kid. There really isn't. Teenager thinks it... Thinks... Teenagers think it is uncool. Teenager... Teenagers think it is not cool. I really can't speak. I got 21. So I got a, a lot more than half, actually. So I finished two courses today. And I got all the caps. Man, we are on a roll. This toad's annoying. Never talk to him. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Tell me in the comments if you used to watch Winnie the Pooh as a kid, or what your favorite, like, TV or book was as a kid, or whatever. You know, just, just like, little characters that you liked as a kid. Because I, I really liked Winnie the Pooh, and, uh, you know, I really liked, uh, what the heck, what else did I really like? Shrek, no, I'm just kidding. I still love Shrek. Shrek is love. Shrek is life. Good night, everybody.